thought I've just pulled out of their trolley. Nintendo Lab made player discover, that's got to be worth something, right? Hey guys, so today is the first day I've been able to source properly, so we're back here at Emaos and we're going to load the boot up, stick around to the end because I'll show you what I brought and uh, yeah, and we'll have some live footage for you. So see you soon, keep watching. The day of the resellers then, is it? <laughs> Absolutely ran. Let's go hunting, shall we? Top trunk straight off. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, you all right? Yeah, not too bad. So you yourself? Yeah, all right. So we've got two of these foot packs. We've done the line the things with two puzzles, a couple of bits at the bottom there and that one there. It's got top trumps and something else. Okay. He's got a Friends of Sports Cambridge United. Uh, I was just saying. Don't start that again. <laughs> I was going to say four quid, but that's twelve quid, please. <laughs> Stitch up. Yeah, four quid, please. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. These we need to try them on. So what do we do? Just go. Yeah, just go in the shop and try them. Try them on in here. Yeah, tell them they were from outside. You just came in to. Yeah. All right. So we'll do that. I just need to do that. Yeah. What's the clock? I'll be back in a minute. I haven't got 250 on this, so I can't use the card. Oh, you can, use, you can use the card out here for that amount. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, because yeah, we're Lovely. the rigged up Thank to you. You're welcome. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hi, uh, how are you, everybody? <laughs> right, let's go up around to shall we? Well, I've just pulled out of their trolley. Nintendo Lab, mate, play Discover. That's got to be worth something, right? Right, we're back from Emmaus and I've got a ton of stuff to show you. Um, I did do a recording, but it didn't actually work, so I'm going to have to go again. So, welcome. I hope you liked the first live bit of me walking around Emmaus, picking some stuff up. Um, quite fun. I love doing that sort of stuff. But I'm here to show you what I picked up. Everything that I'm going to show you today, um, I bought for £6.50. And that is no joke. So here are all my three receipts written the three times loads of boot up three times because i've only got two pairs of hands um so yeah let me show you what i picked up and let me know what you think let's get the housework out of the way make sure you hit that like and subscribe and um let's get straight into it shall we so first up a bit of fitting about what's been going on in my life lately so life is peppered with ups and downs so i take a little bit of just salt they look quite cool. I reckon anywhere between about five, I would say. Most do. Got this Nintendo Switch Labo. Um, pretty cool. Um, some of it has been used already, but some of the cardboard is still intact and it has the game in there, which is decent enough. So, I reckon that has got to be around 20 quid for sure. Um, this guy had it on the trolley, hadn't even gone into Emporium yet, and I just nabbed it pretty quick. Um, so that's that one. Bruised! This uh, Nerf gun from N-Strike. Um, pretty cool. Still got some in it. Not anymore. Um, yeah, that, these are a bit of a clean up, it's quite dusty. But I reckon five and 20, I'm not too sure on the price. Um, I know some other resellers buy Nerf guns all the time and they go pretty quick. This is the Radar CS35 and it is by N-Strike. So, pretty good, did you pick up that one? Couple of puzzles to show you. So this one from Clementini, Clementoni. Thousand piece puzzle there, um, and the farmyard thousand piece there. Yeah, puzzles there. They will probably go for anywhere between five and ten each. This John Lewis poker set. Um, it is still factory sealed. John Lewis have these rounded uh, stickers on their items, so this is brand new. Again, anywhere between. 10 and 20 pounds I would say. The box isn't in the best of conditions but it is brand new. A couple of books. I bought the Rupert Annual. That is quite, I think it's the 2019 one. Yep. Um, number 84. Um, that's probably going to be a couple of quid. But still bread and butter. A couple of education books, so combined science um, for revision guide for um, GCSE 9 to 1, 
and a revision guide for religious studies 9 to 1 as well for Christianity and Islam. That's more bits. Uh, Top Trump specials 2 wrestling. I think this is the 2006 one after checking it earlier. Um, shame it hasn't got the um, holder on it because that snapped off. Um, five quid, I'd say. This is quite an interesting bit. I know it's for like geometry and things like that. Um, can someone let me know what this is called? It's made by Foreign. Um, oh, think off the top of my head. But it is in pretty good condition. Um, it does everything it needs to. So yeah, pretty sharp. Don't show the boy that. He will definitely want to do that himself. Um, I have no idea how expensive that is. Ten quid. We'll see what we see how much that counts for. So we've got some private eye annuals. We've got five of them: two thousand eight, nine, ten, eleven, and thirteen. Um, they go for ten pound a pop. So brand new. So I'm expecting probably two to three pounds each. So fifteen quid for the bundle. I'm going to put them as a bundle, um, and that's going to be over two kilos. So. Uh, yeah, that's going to have to go by courier. Zuzi Linux Personal 8.2. Um, not sure um, how, out, how up to date this is, but I will probably just sell the book itself. Um, the, the software itself is probably out of date, but I will probably just sell the book. See what that goes for. Playing card set. This is Robert Frederick's Premium. Um, came in, I bypassed it to start with, then went back to it, and lucky I did because it is brand new. So I am expecting anywhere between probably four to ten without checking. None of this stuff I have actually checked how much it is yet. I've just gone with instinct. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. Um, two complete horrible science and horrible histories. Um, horrible histories with the nasty bits left in. Um, ten books there. Yeah, ten books in that. And that's complete. And the horrible sciences, and that's complete as well. Um, I would say five pounds each minimum. Maybe a tenner. Um, but let's see, shall we? And Indiana Jones VHS Trilogy. I did check this before I bought it, um, but this was going for £14 on eBay. So um, I'd be happy with the tenner, considering the whole lot cost me £6.50. And lastly, we have got. 20 to 30 pairs of glasses. Now, they say uh, buy, well, do things that you're, that you're unsure about, so you keep learning. And Laura did make a, a good point that these are all um, have different size lenses. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, so how would I know what size lens are? They're quite cool. They're still quite powerful for my eyes. Um, so I think I might just sell them for the lenses itself. Wow, okay. But there are probably about 20 to 30 in here. And if I get five quid a pop, that's not a bad return, is it? So that's at least 100 quid. Um, even at two pound each, you're, you're looking at 50 quid. Um, so, a bit of a risky buy, but I think it's minimal risk considering I spent 650 on the whole lot. So, uh, yeah. That is my lot today. It's what I picked up. So, 
Let me know what you think. Pretty decent haul. Now I've got to get listing it. Hopefully my new desk will arrive today, slash tomorrow. Um, and that is it. Stay safe. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one.